welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome i'm mallory and in today's video we're gonna be doing the doja cat bh cosmetics collaboration palette review and tutorial i got the big mega palette in the collection she had a bunch of little things but i went picked up a few just because doja cat's pop she was kind of expensive doja was kind of expensive y'all but i picked up the big mega palette and look at this look at the color story on here it is absolutely stunning. I also picked up the Metamorphosis Doja Cat brush set. This is a 10 piece brush set and it comes with a cute little dust bag like this. And then these are the brushes out of the box and the packaging. Look at how beautiful they are. Oopsie. Now I gotta tell you, these kind of look like look at them they really do i just had to say it because they really that really is what they look like but they're so cute i also picked up the doja cat goddess calligraphy liner in the shade green so this is what it looks like out of the packaging i did go ahead and swatch it on my arm that is a pretty shade of green i only picked up the green one because i don't have any green liners like this so i was like well if i have to choose i'm gonna go with the green I'm gonna go with the green. After looking at the swatches, I think that we are definitely gonna use the blues down here. I really like this shade Lush. That one is beautiful. So I'm thinking that we're gonna use this color Venus in Strength for sure and Mystery, of course. So from our new brush set, we are going to take a blend brush and I'm gonna take the shade Mystic. Mystic right here. And I'm gonna build on my crease on this side. This is way more orange than like what I thought it would be. It's like a burnt orange color. This is looking very nice, very pigmented off the top. I was kind of worried. Like you remember the Iggy Azalea collaboration with BH Cosmetics? I was kind of worried it was gonna be something like that, but so far so good. That is looking really good. It blended out really well. It was very spreadable, like I didn't dip it multiple times so that's a good sign for me i think that that means it's gonna do well so i'm gonna just take the same brush because we don't really have many eyeshadow brushes because they could included a lot of face brushes so i'm gonna go on the color mystery i'm just gonna build on my crease with this i'm gonna go i'm switching brushes now taking a shadow brush and i'm going into the shade mystic again because that got a little too dark too soon for me so just to blend these shades together, I'm gonna alternate the brushes. So the shade Mystery is also coming out really, really good. I'm not seeing much fallout yet. Hopefully none at all. It's looking pretty good. It's looking really dark for sure, but <laughs> it's looking pretty good otherwise. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my crease for this look. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now that we've cut out that crease, I am thinking, like, because I was gonna use a blue, right? I remember saying that. But, and I remember saying that we were gonna use the um, shimmer, but we've taken a different turn. We cut the crease too soon. So with that, we are gonna go into the color Stellar, and then the color, what is it? Fauna, right here. First, I'm gonna take the color Stellar, like right here. Wow, first of all, that was just a little bit, and look at how vibrant that is. That is looking really good. Look at how pigmented and the glitter and everything. That is looking so good. It's like a true like yellow gold. And oh my goodness. I love that this palette has a mirror. It's like as big as it is, it should. It should have a mirror and it does. That's so great. Now I'm gonna take the shade Fauna here. I'm not really sure what I thought this color was gonna do, but it looks okay for what it is. I just don't know that I actually like it. It's just like a very like dark brown, like a chocolate gold. Now I'm gonna go back into the shade Mystery and blend out this outer corner. So that's what this look, this eye is looking like after we blend out the outer corner. Very cute, very subtle. I like a palette that has some versatility. You can get a subtle look out of it. I am gonna go ahead and use this green eyeliner just to spice it up a little bit. So again, this is the Doja Cat Calligraphy Liner in the color green. You know, I wasn't sure how I felt about green eyeliner, but I think 
I think I'm a fan. I think I'm into it. This is a very pretty green. I would describe it as a forest green. And you remember how I swatched it on my arm and literally I've wiped it a bunch and it's still on there. It's on there, it's a part of me now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes to this side and then we're gonna move on to the other side. Okay, so this is what the final look on this eye looks like. It looks very like daytime glam type of look, which is fine. But let's spice it up a bit on the other side and move into these blues. Now these blue shades are gorgeous. This one especially, it's so pretty, especially like the swatch and everything, it was beautiful. So I'm thinking we're gonna go in with this blue first and then this blue and then darker shades here. So let's take the shade, hmm, let's take the shade wild first. Wild is right here. Let's pack this into the crease. These shades in this palette are very, very pigmented. They're giving me life, I know that, I know that. So. I'm gonna go in with the shade, I already put some wild on this brush and then I'm gonna go in with the shade Venus as well and I'm gonna blend those two together and then pack those down here in the crease. Look at how pretty that is looking, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, girl. So now I'm gonna take the shade Venus and Nightshade here together. We're going to give them the blues with this blend. I don't know what this voice is that I'm using. I apologize because I have no idea what the voice is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my crease on this side as well. If the crease is cut, I've decided we're gonna do something different So than what I said originally. So we're gonna put this in the inner corner, this on the lid, and then this on the outer lid here. So we're gonna go in with Liar first. This shade is so pretty. It's like a iridescent blue. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Let's move on to Lush. Lush is the blue shade here. This is the BH Cosmetics that I know. So I don't know what they was doing with Iggy Azalea and her stuff, but that, that wasn't it. This one. This one is it. This blue is so glittery. Like even on camera, you can see how glittery it is. It's very like, it's giving glitter definitely giving glitter. So now I'm gonna move on to that darker shimmer blue transform and put that in my outer corner. That is looking so, so good. So good, I approve. To blend on my outer corner, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into these sh two shades right here just to get a dark blue dark blue shade on the outer corner. I am seeing a little bit of fallout here now, which is fine. It's fine, it's fine, girl, it's fine. You know what, I know I said that these look like anal beads earlier, but I'm kind of like, I'm liking this, the handle, because they're easy to grip. Like they're not like sliding out of my hand or anything. They're just like, they're in there like swimwear. They like fit with your knuckles and everything. It's like you could do like this and I haven't dropped it once. I haven't dropped it once, I like those. I like these. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some liner. I'm thinking we're just gonna do a basic liner on this side because the color is so vibrant. The green shadow, I should have I should have bought the white liner, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna put, um, let me see what kind of, let me see what kind of liner I have in here and see what we can do. That's a little spicy. Oh wait, you know what? Remember her, the Ashley Strong alignment cake liner palette. I know we should have kept it all BH Cosmetics and we should have got another liner. I know girl, I know, but we didn't, we only got the green. So I'm going to go into this palette, which I'm kind of excited about because I haven't really used it since the review. So if you have not seen that video, I will link the card up here. Go, go watch it girl. Go ahead and go watch it girl after you're done with this one. Okay, so now that I'm using this liner again, not that this is the, the this is not the Ashley Strong, review but it is not actually white it's more of a nude like a bright nude so just to be noted but if you haven't seen the video go watch it up here moving back to bh cosmetics and doja cat so this look i'm glad that i used that white eyeliner because i feel like it gave it the extra pop that it needed and i'm gonna go ahead and throw some eyelashes on and we're gonna talk about the final thoughts and show you the final look okay so this is the final eye look now let's get into the final thought so bh cosmetics and doja cat they are back Again, I definitely feel like BH Cosmetics, they did a better job with their collaboration with Doja Cat than they did with Iggy Azalea, sorry Iggy. But they definitely did do a better job with the formula on this one. They're definitely back to their highly pigmented 
blendable like balm beige cosmetics that we know we've come to know and love like they're back with this palette so i do feel like this palette is very it's like you have your like normal shades up here and then it gets intense at the bottom so you know there is versatility within this palette you can wear like a daytime look or you can wear something more crazy and creative which i love that about a palette whenever they have their own transition shades and everything within the palette so you don't have to like have multiple things working at one time you could just truly use this palette i did see on the website that they had multiple like four pack palettes like four pan palettes where they had um metallic shades and things like that i just didn't feel like that was something that i would continually reach for but the Dutch cat palette i definitely feel like i would the mega so if you have to pick any of them i would definitely even though i haven't gotten a chance to try them i would definitely go ahead and grab this one because it does have a lot of great shades within it as well as the eyeliner now the eyeliner that green it's very very beautiful green and the green it's just staying it's just like not it's not going anywhere. It's just staying on there forever. It's a part of me. So I would say that that makes for a good eyeliner throughout the day. You don't have to worry about it cracking or creasing. And even now, whenever I'm looking at it, it still is very, very good. And you could definitely see the green. I was kind of skeptical about the green eyeliner at first, but I'm like, I think I'm into it. I think I'm gonna wear it like on a daily now. Overall, and oh, and I forgot to mention the brushes. So the brushes, they did come with this little cute bag. I don't remember if I mentioned that before. So the brushes, I mean, BH Cosmetics, they're like never a miss. Always get the BH Cosmetics brushes if you can afford it. Just grab them because they're so good. But they're really cute. This little part, like the bead, no, I call it the beaded part because you know what Tudri looks like. But this little part, I just, I'm loving it. It just makes for like a better grip on your brushes. And just BH Cosmetics, I mean, they had nothing to prove to me whenever I bought these because I already know that they're like bomb. BH Cosmetics brushes are like top tier for me. So overall, I would say that the BH Cosmetics and the Doja Cat collection is just like bomb. Like if you're thinking about getting it, get it for sure. I would definitely get the Mega Palette because even though it was more expensive than the other palettes, you'd get like 36 shades. It's a huge palette with a huge mirror. Definitely, I would have it in my collection if I were you. I would definitely want it there. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe now. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notifications so that you do not miss any videos. It is spooky season. I'll have tons of reviews on palettes and tutorials and everything. You know, spooky season gets kind of crazy. It gets kind of fun. So make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below which eye look is your favorite and you will see my face in the next video.